promised we have the next management waiting by. Phenolix Industries reported numbers. And third quarter was weak. I mean, uh, revenues uh, were lower and volumes were kind of subdued as well. So let's understand what has happened. Uh, Mr. Ajit Venkatraman is Managing Director at Phenolix Industries. He's joining us right now to take some questions. Uh, Ajit, good morning. Great to have you with us here on CNBC TV 18. Prashant, this side. Uh, so can we start there? I mean, was it uh, on the... Uh, uh, start with volumes, basically. Uh, you know, is it lower offtake from a particular segment? Is it higher competitive intensity? Uh, what happened? So uh, towards uh, the end of the second quarter, we started seeing a uh, slowdown of volumes, especially from the agri segment. And uh, that was essentially driven by the negative sentiments for PVC prices. So that continued well into the third quarter and that resulted in a drop in volumes in the third quarter. Uh, whereas in the non-agri segment, we did uh, do a fairly decent uh, growth of over 15%. And in Agri, uh, how is the fourth quarter panning out now? Has it picked up or is See, it the, still... One, yeah. Once the uh, PVC prices stabilized around December, mid-December, the volumes have started picking up. And uh, so far, it has been normal in the uh, fourth quarter. So for the full year, could you uh, t talk to us about what kind of volumes you will do? So we are looking at anywhere between uh, around 10% growth uh, in the in the total overall volume. FI24 volumes over 23. FI24. Okay, and, and because I mean we're also getting into the election season, etc. So does that have a have any implication one way or the other? So so far it has been holding on, and uh, we need to see how uh, the month of March goes, which is much closer to the election year. So at this point of time, uh, the volume seems to be normal as predicted, but uh, we have to wait and see for the month, the month of March. Okay, that's on the volume front. Agreed, agree volumes a week, but for the full year, given the strength in the other segments, you're still likely to clock a double-digit volume growth. What about on pricing? PVC prices have also been a bit volatile, under pressure. What happened in Q3 and what's the outlook on pricing? See, since since uh, since I think mid September onwards, uh, we had uh, negative sentiments on the PVC prices itself. So we did see some amount of correction, and the prices have more or less stabilized around seven hundred eighty seven hundred ninety dollars per metric ton for PVC, and that seems to have stabilized and it continues as of today. So uh, any stability in the PVC prices helps. Uh, the market uh, to cool down and also have uh, confidence in pulling uh, inventory into the uh, network. So that is what we are seeing at the moment. All right. Hi, sir. Good morning, Nigel, on this side. Uh, you know, a couple of quick details then. What is the current capacity, sure. if you could tell us, uh, uh, you know, in terms of pipes and fittings, what is the total capacity? The total capacity is around 470,000 metric tons, both uh, pipes okay. and fittings put together. And what about what is your utilization as of now? So, utilization is uh, anywhere between 60 and 65 percent. Got it. All right. Uh, you know, I wanted to ask you whether some of your peers are growing at a faster clip mm -hmm. uh, as you are. That's what it appears so. Uh, could you tell us uh, whether or not you're losing market share? You know, I'm just looking at a Supreme Industries, uh, you know, their numbers. It appears they're growing faster. Can you clarify on that? Are you losing market share? So we have uh, we have two segments. Uh, one is the agri segment and the non-agri segment. A uh, good uh, percentage of our sales comes from the agri segment, which has uh, been a little bit slow in the last uh, in the third quarter. Whereas the non-agri segment has been growing quite well. The mix it all depends upon the mix. Uh, our mix has resulted in the uh, growth rate what we have seen. Mm. Okay, so, you know, in both the two segments, if I split it up for you, what is your current mix, sir? Agri and non-agri? About 65-35. 65-35. How do you see this mix changing going ahead? And in both these two segments, are you holding on to your market share as per your ca calculations? See, uh, we have been growing faster in the uh, non-agri segment than the market. Um, agri segment is a little bit less predictable. Uh, because it depends upon a whole lot of other factors as well. And therefore, and, and non-agri segment is mainly driven by the construction, building construction industry. 
and therefore uh, we have been tracking that fairly well. Uh, agri segment is influenced by rainfall PVC prices because that segment is price sensitive and therefore it has been less predictive. Uh, in terms of uh, the movement, we would like to, the, the reason uh, our focus is on non improving the non-agri segment is to bring more stability to our performance. And what's the contribution of agri and uh, to your overall volumes? So it was, a, it's a 65-35 uh, split. 65. What, that. Within that, what is are, are fittings doing better? See, the fittings is uh, as non-agri segment grows, the fitting performance grows because there are no more fittings needed for the non-agri segment. Okay, uh, so so you know, without getting into uh, very specifics, could you tell us as we look into the next year F five twenty five? Uh, okay. Would uh, the growth in non-agri continue to remain significantly ahead of of agri? We expect. We expect because the construct, building construction industry is expected to grow at about 15%, 13 to 15%. Uh, and the CAGR for expected for the next five years is that. And therefore, non-agri segment is going to be uh, uh, the growth segment. So for Finulex, I mean, is there a, I mean, is there a ballpark kind of internal target? How much would you like to grow? And what can you do to expect, make that happen? We expect yeah. the industry, industry to grow anywhere between 10 and 15%. And we expect us to do that as well. Between 10 and 15 percent? Uh, That's right. Uh, growth in volumes, essentially. In volumes. Uh, uh, it's uh, the revenue in rupees crores is less predictable because that depends yeah. upon the PVC prices. Mm. Give and take everything, sir. What about the margin outlook? You know, that's come under quite a bit of pressure in the last few years. Given that pricing is stabilizing now, volumes could improve. Your mix as well, you've got it pretty much under control. Uh, what should the margin ban look like in the next year? See, as, as the mix has improved for us, uh, improved in the sense as non-agri has contributed more to our uh, overall performance, we have seen the margins improve. Right now, it is almost at a, at a, a 10, 10.5 rupees per kg mark. And as the uh, non-agri contribution increases, the margins will increase. Mm. Uh, cash on the books is in excess of 1500 crore rupees, Mr. Venkat Rama? That's right. That is and right. How are you and you're all how are you planning to utilize that? When is the board going to deliberate on perhaps a buyback or any kind of a special dividend? Because you keep generating cash and your annual capex is, I think, only about 150 crore rupees. So what's the plan on utilizing yes, the cash? We will, we will be soon looking at uh, expansion. Uh, in the sense that in the next couple of years, uh, looking at the growth, we will need additional capacity to be coming in. Just last year, we added 25% to our fitting capacity. Uh, in, the, in the coming years, we will need additional capacity in the pipes as well. So that is something which will take up a portion of the uh, cash reserves. Uh, but yes, uh, there will be uh, more cash than what we need. And uh, the board will decide whether to uh, when to give give it back to the shareholders. But a few years down the line, right? Because you said capacity utilization is yes, only about 60, 65 percent. Sixty five, and we need to plan for we need to plan for uh, additional capacity, given that we are expecting the industry to grow grow anywhere between ten and fifteen percent. All right, uh, we leave it there, sir. Thank you very much for joining us, and uh, appreciate your time here on CNBC TV. Thank you. Thanks indeed.